I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on learning concepts and applying a couple of concepts to solve a question. This is a very important strategy for many test papers. In this video, we will see how to connect line intercepts with the equation of circle. The question here is, find the equation of the circle, the coordinates of the endpoints of whose diameter are the intercepts of the line 3x plus 2y minus 6 equals to 0. Four options are given to you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, before answering this question, let's try to understand the concept of finding equation of a circle when coordinates of its diameter are given. Right? So, we'll derive a general formula which looks something like this. So, what we are saying here is that if we take a circle and let us say we have diameter defined by two endpoints, right? So, these are my two endpoints. Let these endpoints be x1, y1 and x2, y2. Correct? In that case, any point on the circle, let that be x, y. Okay? So, let's consider set of points on the circle to be x, y. So, this point is a general point on the circle. Now, how is this related? Well, that is a semicircle and therefore any angle in the semicircle is going to be a right angle. Perfect. So now, let's call them as A, B and C, right? Let's see this as a triangle A, B, C, which is basically a right angle triangle. Then in that case, the slope of A to C, A to C times the slope of b to c should be equal to negative 1, correct? Since that is right angle. Now, this important concept relates to the given equation. Now, what is this slope a to c? Well, a to c will be x minus x1 in the denominator and y minus y1 in the numerator. So, the slope is y minus y1 over x minus x1. So, that is the slope of ac. What is the slope for bc? Well, that would be y minus y2 over x minus x2. And that should be equal to negative 1. Now, clearly from here, what do we get? We get y minus y1 times y minus y2. Now, we could cross multiply, but let me write down common denominator here as x minus x1 times x minus x2 equals to negative 1. Then, if we cross multiply, we get y minus y1 times y minus y2 equals to x minus x1 with a negative sign. This is negative times x minus x2. Now, bringing these terms to the right gives us the, the equation. Perfect. So, basically, we get our equation bringing these terms to the left side as x minus x1 times x minus x2 plus y minus y1 times y minus y2 equals to 0. So, that becomes equation of a circle, right? As you can see, as point C moves all along the circle, there will be a triangle formed with right angles. So, the slopes will be negative reciprocal of one another. So, that always works. So, that becomes our general equation for a circle given endpoints x1, y1 and x2, y2. Clear? Now, if you can remember this, then the solution to our question is very simple. So now, let's look into the solution of our question. Getting back to the problem now, it says, 
find the equation of the circle, the coordinates of the endpoints of whose diameter are the intercepts of this particular line. So basically now we need to actually find the intercepts of our line and then we'll use our formula, right? So the line given to us is 3x plus 2y. Taking 6 to the right side, I could write this as 6. Now let's find x and y intercepts, right? So x intercept means y equals to 0. So if I substitute y 0, I get 3x equals to 6 or x is equal to 6 divided by 3, which is 2. Perfect. Now let's find the y-intercept. So find y-intercept by substituting x equals to 0. So when you substitute x equals to 0, we get 2y equals to 6, y equals to 6 divided by 2, which is 3. So, so in our line, which could be sketched with y-intercept of 3 and 2 as your x-intercept, let us say that is our line, right? So here, we have the x-intercept of plus 2 and y-intercept of 3. So that is now the diameter of our circle, right? What is the formula to be applied? Well, it is x minus x1 times x minus x2 plus y minus y1 times y minus y2 equals to 0. We know our values. So here the point really is 0, 3, right? And here the point is 2, 0. So we get x1, y1 and x2, y2. So we can now write down this as x minus, let's say x1 is 0 here, times x minus 2 plus y minus 3 times y minus 0 equals to 0. So that means, let's multiply, this is x times x minus 2, so we get x square minus 2x plus y square minus 3y equals to 0 which is x square plus y square minus 2x minus 3y equals to 0. Perfect. So you get your equation and now you can match it with option B. So that becomes the solution of the given question. Now I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, share my videos with your friends. Thanks for watching and all the best.